Hello. This is a four-part talk uh, for families about word study, which is an approach to teaching phonics, spelling, and vocabulary. My name is Donald Bear. I'm Professor Emeritus now from Iowa State University and University of Nevada, Reno. You'll find my website, the handouts and other materials at my website, and there's my email. There's a link to a handout for this presentation at that website, so you'll, you could follow along looking at your PDF there if you like. So if you're uh, wanting to know more about word study and uh, how families are involved, then this series uh, is for you. Uh, the first part, uh, they're based on Words Their Way books, the sixth edition of Words Their Way on the far left here, and then working clockwise, we have the pre-KK, Words Their Way with Struggling Readers, Vocabulary Their Way, second edition, and then Words Their Way with English Learners. And I'm very excited about this new book that's just perfect for this talk, Words Their Way for Parents, Tutors, and School Volunteers. Uh, I refer you to this book. Uh, it's based, uh, this talk and this bo uh, book are uh, of the same developmental uh, approach, and uh, we work together as co-authors. So if your children are involved in a word study program, you might be interested in part one, which is about what is word study. It's an overview. It ends with some ideas for family involvement, a lot of pictures to look at, and then choose the part two, three, four that makes sense for you. If your child is in emergent or letter name alphabetic stage, if your child's in the within word pattern stage, and then the last two stages, upper level word study with the syllables and affixes and derivational relation stages. Again, the handout can be found there and a link to this actual presentation. So I'm really talking about word study. I'll go in more detail on this, but it involves phonics, spelling, and vocabulary. To put it in perspective, I want us to think about uh, these five activities when we think about word uh, literacy instruction. And word study is just one part of a rich, uh, robust literacy uh, program. Word study, I may meet with the students for 15 minutes a day, and then on subsequent days, I may only meet with them for five days to talk about word study. We'll do a lot of other literacy activities, but then they will also have independent and partner activities for word study. So it's, it's a part of the literacy uh, diet, if you will, which we'll come to later on. So we read to our children, starts at an early age. We read to our children, this is a second grade classroom. We read with our children. I've worked in reading centers my, uh, as a university professor for many years, and we read with our students. This is how we might read with our students. We write with our students. And we talk with our students. And word study, these are some pictures. Here's a picture sort, a word sort, a picture sort on the floor. Playing uh, games together with your partners. So now let's go into what is word study part one and why is it important? And we'll end with an overview of family involvement. But these are the primary topics, starting with the word study equation, how teachers present word study. You'll see a lot of sorting and categorizing of words and pictures. I want to go into development and the layers, uh, word study activities, uh, 
we want to reconceptualize how we're teaching spelling, so that will be important. So you can see then why, how word study is in the classroom and closing with what families can do. Uh, I'll expand on these, what families can do in parts two, three, and four by stage. So when I'm teaching phonics, I'm also looking at spelling. Spelling and phonics go together. Similarly, when I'm teaching spelling, I'm also looking at vocabulary. And vocabulary is a, spelling is a way of looking at vocabulary instruction. So when we're teaching kids, people to read, becoming literate depends on the fast, accurate recognition of words in text and fast, accurate production of words in writing so that readers can focus their attention on meaning. So you have to read the words quickly and accurately. It helps to be able to write the words quickly and accurately so that you can focus on meaning. So how do we do word study? Uh, word study is something that we teach explicitly and we use hands-on activities to help students with word recognition, writing, and vocabulary. So on the left, you see a picture sort by beginning sounds, and you see a two-syllable uh, sort uh, and looking at do you double, e-drop, or make no change. The children cut the swords up, and then they sort them. These swords can also go on. The teacher introduces the sort in a sort of four-step process. That they demonstrate the sort, and that's the lengthy time I was talking about, They sort, which involves sorting and checking, reflecting. They talk about the sort, and this is the part that involves families. Most is extending the sort. So the sort that the teacher demonstrates and the children are involved in every day uh, it extends to the home environment. So here I am sorting with students. This is a picture sort. Here's also a picture sort for long A and short A. Here's a second grade teacher sorting with her students and they're sorting by patterns there on the far left, you see the C, B, C, E, the consonant, vowel, consonant, E, the C, B, V, as in tray, the short vowel, C, B, C, and the C, B, B, C pattern. Here are some other sorts that the teachers uh, have in terms of their materials. Now we're getting into development, but I want to show you how we think about how, uh, development. Development is based on three layers of the writing system, alphabet, pattern, and meaning. And to call it by some other terms, we're looking at the sound system or uh, letter sound correspondences, as in beginning consonants and pre-consonantal nasals all the way to through short vowels and digraphs and blends. And then we get to the pattern layer and orthography, the writing patterns, if you will. We have the CBCE pattern. We have the common long vowel patterns that we were just talking about. We also look at unaccented syllables, open and closed syllables, uh, inflected endings that we just looked at, the ED, for example. And then finally, we look at the structure of words, the common prefixes all the way down to looking at absorbed or assimilated prefixes, but where you can see in 21 and 22 Greek and Latin roots and stems. And these are ways of looking at words developmentally that fit uh, five stages of spelling in green and five stages of reading. So you have the three layers across the top alphabet pattern and meaning. And in English, we're looking at five stages of reading, emergent, beginning, transitional, and we're wanting to know where your child is developmentally. And usually there's a 
relationship between stages of reading, the beginning stage of reading, let's say, the second stage, and the letter name, alphabetic stage. So we know from a variety of uh, resources and research that there's a synchrony, a relationship among reading, writing, and spelling development. And because of that relationship and development, we can also look at using that relationship in our teaching. So if we see at the bottom here that the child spells bed, B-D, or B, or even B-A-D, that that child is in the letter name alphabetic stage, the second column here of spelling stages. And if you run your finger up, you see that that student is in the beginning stage of reading. Similarly, in the third column, you see the within word pattern stage, where they're, they've learned how to spell short vowels, and they're experimenting with how to spell long vowels, as in float, F-L-O-W-T, might be a way they spell it. And you can see that their reading uh, behaviors accompany the spelling behaviors, if you will. And so earlier, the letter name stage, a child, a person, reads aloud. They're word by word. They finger point. Whereas the transitional is approaching some fluency, missing expression, but is beginning to read with more fluency and begins to read silently, actually. The last two stages of spelling are the upper level spelling stages and the upper levels of reading. And you can see that in word study at the bottom there, we're looking at polysyllabic words from spelling the unaccented syllable in cattle, the E-L or L-E, uh, all the way down to how to spell opposition. You can see roughly the stages and where, uh, how they fit the grades and where we expect students to be at the end of the school years. Every child has a word study notebook. This is a child writing the sort into categories. Here's a sort for the children, and then they sort them into different categories. We'll come back to these by stages but they have to be able to read the words. And so here's a sort for word families by pictures and by words, for long vowel patterns. This is a paste and label activity. Hammer, H-M-R. We have word study games that the students play. There are games that are easy ones, like the racetrack game, where the children, uh, we make three copies of them in the classroom, uh, where the whole group of six to eight kids will play, be able to play during their uh, seat work or center activities. Students like to make charts uh, of word patterns that they add to. They like to play word study games like Jeopardy board, simple board games. We are doing more and more research and we've sort of uh, located 10 characteristics or indicators of uh, good word study classrooms with number seven, student reflection being so important. The students have got to be able to talk about their sorts. I'll come back to that at the end of this talk. But here's a f how, how, how deep it gets. Uh, well, here's looking at word study for the word vocabulary. So there's onelook.com, and I typed in star, V-O-C, star. These are all hot links to dictionaries, but a lot of these V-O-C have the same meaning, voice. Here's a common activity. This could be where the children just point to where the right column, I'll call out the word paint, where would it go? or we could ask the children to write the words. And that takes us to spelling.